Sad. It's Aces Week, baby, and what better time to do it than the start of spring? Well, the start of any season, really. But this is a great time to look at the Aces, yeah? And that is the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and Ace of Pentacles. Let's go over the ground rules real quick about Aces and how they work in Tarot so we're all on the same page. The Aces can represent new, absolutely new that we are working towards or is coming towards us but also represents renewed, the stuff we already have in play, reoccurring passions, thoughts, investments. And the idea is we keep them going because hopefully they're working for us. So we want to check in on both any new opportunities and the stuff that is or isn't working for us as well. Yeah. So what's going on for you? We're going to start with the Ace of Swords. Any new ideas that are sharp as attack, any new actions or renewed thoughts. You know, this is what I know to be true for my life right now. And it has been and I keep acting on it. That kind of thing. Let's see the Ace of Swords. Like always, take it resonates, leave it does not. These are general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate at all. And as frustrating as that is, it's also normal. Check your the placements, yeah? <sighs> and hopefully you felt the, the oomph of that total solar eclipse, not that you had to witness it. I mean, just being open to that kind of powerful energy exchange. Yeah. I mean, again, another reason why I wanted to look at aces this week. Let's see that ace of wands. Show me the ace of wands, please, for sad. Show me the Ace of Wands, please, for... I'm sorry, Ace of Swords. Mm, I'm really anxious to get over the Ace of Wands there for you. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of curious. As soon as I sat down for you today, I said, what's going on with the Ace of Wands for Sag? But we're starting with the Ace of Swords. Okay. <laughs> we are starting with the Ace of Swords. Let's see the Ace of Swords, please. The Nine of Cups, Three of Wands, oh yes, the Tower, oh yes, we have had some very, very, very sharp insights. Something to do about wish fulfillment on a personal level and how we've been putting it off. Oh my. Ace of Cups, Three of Wands, the Tower, that's some rather strong insight and I mean, whew, cross your brain. It's a searing thought. It's kind of radical and it's very new. It's very new. It has still yet to fully shape in terms of its impression and the full weight of that thought. In other words, you're still being influenced by what it is that you've just learned. And we've had some insight in some way that says, I have a tendency to put things off that I know I want. We've just now seen this. And I mean, want on a personal level, Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment, it's based on the premise that we understand we love ourselves. Therefore, we try to give ourselves what it is that we want because, again, we love ourselves or that's the idea. So you understanding that you putting things off that you want is not a form of self-love. As we delay ourselves, it's kind of like saying, am I worth it? We don't really think of it that way. We're just like, I'll get back to that. It's not really important. Well, au contraire, you're in that feeling, you're in that thought, you're in that action, you know. So that's not true at all. But I know it's easy to get caught up in that space. We don't mean it that way at the time. But you understanding that you putting off what you want is a form of anti-love, self-love. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's push that thought a little deeper. I can tell it's still fresh for you. I'd like to know what that means for you. I really would. You know, you ever met that person who their constant thinking is, I'm gonna save that for a special occasion. And that seems to be their fallback for everything. I'm going to wear that, that outfit I like so much on special occasions. So they never wear it. They never drink that bottle of champagne. They never have that moment and that space and that time, you know. It's kind of like, a, I know it's kind of like, a oh, I really want to enjoy it at the height of its whatever. But for people who constantly put themselves off in small ways, it's indeed putting yourself off. Sometimes you're worth those extra moments. And it, you need to push past that sense of preservation to celebrate you a little more, you know? Say yes to yourself more often, you know? What else, please? In that Ace of Swords? Very cool thought you've had. I'm just, I'm glad that it occurred to you. I don't know what it means, though. 
And like I said, it's probably still taking shape for you. Yeah, it's still taking shape for you. Page of Cups, Eight of Cups, the King of Pentacles. So while on the surface, you might have always been that person who invested, okay, and taken actions towards the sake of security, sometimes you never really stopped and asked yourself, is this what I want, though? Mm. Oh, yes. That's the classic one right there. Classic. I've always taken care of me and mine, my household, my resources, my responsibilities, always without fail. But I've always kind of put myself off too in that process. Bingo. You got it. You got it. You want some earth in your chart? You have some water in you that suggests, though, you have emotional delay. Okay. What you put off for yourself while it might have lent to your sense of responsibility and this is what I need to do first and foremost, you always kind of put everything, your responsibilities, before you personally. And that kind of allowed you to emotionally detach from the stuff that you do versus how you feel. Am I right? You know? It has a couple different names, like pleasure, delayer. It's, that's a little bit more in line with um, sexual energy. But you, you get the idea. The construct is there. This would please me, but I'm going to put it off. Like that bottle of champagne. Or that, uh, like I said, that special outfit, whatever it is. And it can represent something larger too, such as the love of your life. Or um, the career you've always envisioned for yourself. That, <laughs> that trip around the world you always wanted to take, and it would take a month out of your life. Whatever it is, it's occurred to you that you put the practical interest first and your emotional self second. Why can't you integrate them? I don't know. That's going to take you a minute because I can see that that's just kind of hit you not too long ago. Like I said, that's a fresh tower. That's still got some heat on it, you know. And while you are practical, responsible, and reliable, your emotional self isn't there. Like I said, you separated yourself too much from your own engagement and activities. I shouldn't be getting pleasure from this. It's just what I need to do. And that left more, more room between yourself and what you were experiencing. And so I think we're seeing that now. That's great. No, it's wonderful. Uh, again, that knowledge is still taking shape because it's very fresh. There are no results to that yet. You're going to have to poke and prod that a little more before you get more out of it. Okay? And then when you do, you'll have those moments in life where you're like, I could put this off or I could give myself this five minutes right now. Right? You know, I could work at it that extra day or maybe I can take it off for myself. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. All right. Um, now, like I said, I'm kind of... I'm anxious to get to that Ace of Wands. What's up? Let's see that Ace of Wands, please. Let's see that Ace of Wands. Let's see that Ace of Wands. I want you to continue to poke and prod that. Okay? See what it teaches you. Let's see that Ace of Wands, please, for Satch. Five of Cups, Three of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. There is something here we are reminisce with. We are well, reminiscent and remiss. There's a connection here we miss at the emotional level. Sometimes we don't think about renewing it. We feel it. It's, it's again, it's a feeling. It probably comes and goes. It's a fleeting sensation. It's been stretched out over time with the Wheel of Fortune. So... Here we have another subtraction, a positive three and a negative five. What's left is a negative two. There were uh, excuse me, cups spilled between you and somebody. Um, we no longer connect with it, and we're sad about that. We miss it. Here we have the five of cups. It's old pain. Reminiscence is in it. And then, like I said, re regret, loss, remorse. We miss this, and that's okay. It's okay. Everybody can identify with that doesn't make you insane, doesn't make you any less of a person. It's a real feeling and it's a valid one, okay? 
And you're saying time has passed and sometimes it still feels that way and I miss it. I miss connecting with them. Okay. And uh, they represented a form of passion and light and hope and a lightness surrounding this, a kind of lightness that I think you tell yourself to not engage in if it's not practical. Do you see how one thing tends to forget the other? You know? You have a history, you just learned it, that you tend to put your emotional needs off, something that means something to you. And I told you that could include everything from love to work and everything like that. It still captures your energy a little bit, whatever that connection is. It is lost. It, and well, for now it feels lost, you know. You miss the emotional memory of it. When you were able to connect with it, it felt good. It felt warm. It felt light. It felt kind. What else, please, in that Ace of Wands? It's an old Ace of Wands. It's kind of one that you reminisce about. And you miss sometimes. Three of Pentacles, the world, the Knights of Wands. Mm. That's interesting. I see you. That's interesting because you showed me the reminiscence of an old connection that felt right, felt warm. You say you miss it, and I told you it's not a crime, but it's not. That emotional memory is a real thing. It was the last time you connected to something that felt like it was nice for you. Which, again, you have a habit of denying and you're just now becoming aware of it. Okay? There's something else here that has yet to happen, but it will. And it's going to free up some of your energy and put it back into a positive disposition. I see you opting out of future-oriented friendships, acquaintances, contracts that you say you no longer want to participate in and it's going to free up some of your energy to make it clear it's not this this has already exited it's old sadness are you showing me you want to free up some time I think you're showing me you want to free up some time So that you can have more energetic space to um, connect with that which you miss. But it means freeing up something that represents time, energy, and effort. Okay? I don't know if that's a permanent world over these constructs, acquaintances, or activities. Three of pentacles could be any of those things. But I see you stop putting effort into things to free up some energy. Because a part of you is trying to find and remember that motivation to feel like you can participate in something that's yours. It has nothing to do with being resourceful, responsible, or contractual. A helping agent or a friend. Just something that allows you, I believe, to re-engage with this. Because it's the last time you felt warm and happy and light. And it represents something, again, that would be more on the selfish level because you learned to separate your emotion from responsibility. I don't know that this represents selfishness, just something that says, this is nice. And my participating in it says, I'm trying to give myself something because I love myself. I think we could do with a bit of shifting in our thinking. Not everything has to have a purpose, an output, or a productive outcome in order to justify your existence or time, energy, and effort spent into it. Sometimes it's enough to just feel good about it. Okay? You're freeing up energy for a reason. The last time you can remember feeling good in some sort of emotional relationship you said it's been a while. 
and I'd like to feel that way again. So that's the Ace of Wands. That is partial renewal as well as new. Okay. It's interesting. But you also admit you're going to have to drop some of the side busyness in order to free up the space to do so. Good. It's about time. You took some time for yourself. Okay. Let's keep on. Let's keep on. I'm very curious about this. I don't know what it meant in your life, except emotional loss. There's something you used to connect to and it felt good. It's the last thing that felt good. And you'd like to connect with it again, but it requires you freeing up space. Okay. In order to put down some of the busyness, put down some of the pentacle division, put down some of the, well, this is productive and me having a good time technically isn't productive. You're worth it. Because if you don't invest in you, no one else will. You have to know what your wants are in order to achieve them. And you keep putting them off is anti-want. Anti-self-love. Okay? Free up some of that space for you. You're worth it. All right. Let's see that Ace of Cups, please. Some of that Ace of Cups. Some of that Ace of Cups. Any new love. Renewed love, which this may not be romantic. It just seems... Honey, you can have that kind of interest with really good friends. You know, hanging out and just feeling alive and creative and celebrated in some way. So I don't know what that is. It may not be romantic. I just know that you want to free up space in order to re-engage with it. Because you miss it. That's it. Let's see the Ace of Cups, please. Let's see the Ace of Cups. Let's see the Ace of Cups. Let's see the Ace of Cups, please. That's good, though. That tells me you had something to miss, which means, by admission, there's something in you that you miss. Everything begins with itself. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. There's some communication here. There's some communication. Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. That's either you or someone else. Hold on, please. Strong sense of nurturing. Also resourcefulness here. Is that you speaking from your heart or is that someone else? Seven of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. This is... Okay. 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 You're blocking some functions in your 3D in order to connect with this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Back here. Right back here. Called it. Interesting. You have very heavy earth notes attached to you. I can see that you are indeed... That person is used to putting your own sense of self off. And when you do that, it's anti-self-love. Just to FYI, I want to recap on that because you're showing me huge emphasis that the 3D world is important to you, that you pride yourself on being stable, and that um, you, you really feel it's imperative to have elements attached to you for your own sense of security, a uh, sense of self-worth, nurturing. And these are all good markers to live by, a thousand percent. But you're also saying sometimes it gets out of hand. Uh-huh. I believe you. <laughs> You're saying sometimes it gets out of hand. You you overly contract yourself, don't you? You pride yourself on being resourceful, highly connected, and uh, there are many pros to that. Oh, there's so many pros to that. But there's also so many cons, too. It always feels like your time is never your own. Am I right? And so it gets really easy to tell yourself whatever your personal endeavors are, your personal pleasures are, your personal sense of self-love is, put that off, it's not important. You really have a tendency to overcontract yourself, and uh, it's like time is never your own. No wonder you're showing me reminiscence on that Ace of Wands. You really do have to literally free up some space in your 3D in order to accommodate anything that says, this could be of personal value to me, resources or not. We really have, the side I'm looking at has a strong tendency to put their heart last. 
because it comes across as undisciplined, it's selfish, or again, it's just low functioning. It's not worth the bigger picture. And I know that you are heavily, heavily indoctrinated into the bigger picture of 3D stability, and I appreciate that. God knows I know how much work goes into that, honey. I do. I really get it. But you have to, like, honestly, I, <laughs> you're going to have to set up some caution tape or detour routes, you know, for those things in your life, you, you, you need to make space for you. Because if you don't do it, no one else is going to, no one's going to check on you. Sad. when was the last time you made, except for maybe the tarot lady on YouTube, when was the last time you made space for yourself? I, if I were you, I'd start setting up detours in your life. So the flow of traffic, like the real flow of traffic for your work, your home life, connectivity, all of it. It needs to start flowing in a little direction so that way you have more space to navigate other pathways that could be important to you. You see what I'm saying? Only roads that you would travel and no one else. That's what Nine of Cups is, guys. Now, some of you are really out of touch with self-love and self-fulfillment. I know that nurturing for you in terms of your resources and stability are very high, but you understanding that loving yourself is not exactly the same thing. It may not necessarily rise at the same time. I know you have enough respect for yourself to put things in place that make sure that you are secure. And you've done that. You've done that. But your personable self got neglected in the way, <laughs> along the way. And you've had strong insight about this. So I said, this is really fresh. So when I see you connecting so beautifully from the heart to someone else, and you have to again... <laughs> push back on other things that you are knee deep in in order to get some space for yourself, you need to take it. You're going to have to set up those detours yourself. You work so hard to create that world. It's also on you to reshape it, to give yourself space in other areas. Uh, so that was no joke. Um, that is no joke. You really are going to have, it may not be, a, like I said, permanent shutdowns, as like the world might suggest. It might be short detours for the traffic to flow in different directions so you have more avenue to express yourself outside of it oh my goodness honey yeah i see you i see you talking to somebody from the heart and it's beautiful it's a beautiful conversation it really is um I, someone who i believe would tell you these things um based on experience as well how are you doing? Are you okay? I understand you're busy, <laughs> but are you happy? <laughs> that kind of thing, uh, a very nurturing quality. Um, someone who can speak to some of the principles that you possess. So this, this is someone who we will be actively communicating with soon. There is a touch of familiarity here, which again, I told you already got off this based on the reminiscence of the shadows attached to it from the past. It's like we didn't have more to give to it at the time, literally. And we've always felt bad about it. Okay. So that's why I see you carving out pieces. Like I said, detouring traffic, reshaping it, putting cordons up, caution tape, redirecting. Just so you can make some space for yourself for something. The last time you connected to it, it felt right. Just for you. No one else. It was the last thing that represented wish fulfillment to you on a personal level and had no one else's influence. Okay. Just you. Between you and you, but also you and whoever that is. And uh, it's lovely. It really is lovely. Goodness me. Wow. There's a lot of mutual respect in there. A lot. So is it new? I don't know. I th I, I don't believe so. We have some emotional acquaintance with this person. It's just been a while since we've literally had the time or rather made the time to engage with it. And we've always felt bad about that a little bit. Okay. But time has passed and you're saying you know what to do. If you want this, you'll have to make space for it is what you're saying. And I see you making space for it to the best of your abilities. I don't want to look at that Ace of Pentacles, honey. I don't think you can take on any more stuff. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know how you can possibly take on any more stuff. So hopefully that's that's already in play. Goodness knows. Goodness knows. You've actually shown me quite a bit. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at your Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, no, I can see where the heaviness of the responsibility attached to. You probably got in the habit of saying, you know what? I just don't have time for this. But every time you did that, you were emotionally rejecting yourself a little bit. 
nurturing and understanding your worth is not the same as understanding self-love. They're so close and they're not that far apart in ideas. They're really not. But the pentacle side of self-love and nurturing suggests I respect and love myself well enough to make sure that me and my household and whoever's in there is taken care of. Which is a form of self-love, but it's not at the, very much at the personal level as the emotional heart would suggest. Okay. Do we understand, in other words, what would make us happy? Other than our comfort. Okay. It's... So let's see that Ace of Pentacles, please. Show me that Ace of Pentacles. Show me that Ace of Pentacles. Yep. Let's see that Ace of Pentacles. Let's see that Ace of Pentacles. Yes, we'll be talking with this person. Try to remember to do a time check. You're going to have to clear up some space, honey. For some of you, spring represents the height of it. I don't know why. Like when spring comes knocking around for some of you, that's when you have no breaks. <laughs> upwards to May and June, and I don't know why that has such a heavy impression attached to it, but it is. Six of Wands, Seven of Cups, the King of Wands. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Good. We'll take it. Um, six of Wands, Seven of Cups, the King of Wands. You're like, I'm so happy. I get to explore something just for me, just a little bit, and it feels so good. You gave yourself extra space. So you are investing in you at the personal level and not just your outside world. Good job. Good job, Saz. I'm so proud of you. Good job. There you go, because that's how you opened with. I need to do more of exactly what I'm looking at right here. Yes, good job. You are literally investing in you, and it feels so good, doesn't it? Quite the flip of energies there. Positive, too. So this is the act of exploration of emotional self with someone else, and it feels really good. It's nothing too heavy. It's nothing too intense. You just started the investment. Again, there you go, making this space for it. So the Ace of Pentacles, it's new with a twist, okay? As you invest in yourself, which is something you've been neglectful of, it's technically new for you, or at least it's been a while. But it's renewed in that sense of emotional familiarity with someone else who you were last comfortable with, but we didn't have the time to give it on. No, you didn't. <laughs> Let's be real. And that's not an accusation. It's just how things played out. When we cannot nurture an emotional connection, that starts to feel good. But it gets thinner and thinner because we can't invest in it the way we think or feel or we don't understand. We're not putting ourselves first by putting other things first. We get neglected. The connection gets neglected. And it's like it never was. And uh, no, as you make more space for yourself, that Ace of Pentacles becomes both a new as well as a renewed. It's beautiful, actually. You show me that for your aces and your ace. I'm sorry, your wand and your pentacles. That's lovely. Anything else, please, in that ace of pentacles? Not that I want to push it. I really don't, but just in case. Just in case. I like how you feel so much better. And that's, you know, not over-the-top emotional exploration. It really isn't. Um, it's like almost like you're getting familiar with your feelings again, which, given that you were the eight of cups, was attached to you. That's progress, actually. That's progress. Okay, I promise. All right. Ace of Cups, Temperance, you, the Tower. Wow. Uh, Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. This is exactly what you needed in reference to that Tower. There's you. Whomever it is you are speaking to, it soothes your heart. That what you opened up with, having that strong insight not too long ago about how we have a tendency to put our personal selves off. You're saying, I feel a lot better. In your heart space, it feels a lot fuller. Possibly even feeling love in some way. What kind, I don't know, but it seems to be a good fit for you. Someone who respects uh, the world of materials and resources as much as you do, but has that nurturing quality stamped to them. It says, I care about you a great deal. I, I have, I always have, and I'm glad we're connecting. Um, they do care very much about what it is that you experience beyond your pentacle world. They, show, they seem to show an invested interest in who you are personally because those are the qualities that are being evoked from you in order to connect with it. 
your personable self. So again, beyond the pentacle. Um, this is exactly what you needed. In the heart space. It feels really good. And there you are. And it's kind of like bringing the lessons home. And it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful, guys. I like how you opened with a tower and you're closing off with one too. But it directly involves... Kind of surprises you. How your heart feels so much better. Because you're finally giving yourself what you needed this whole time. Love. You see what happened there? What it is you're missing? What it is you're opening up towards? Yeah. I imagine you feel a lot better. Okay. 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 Comfort zone, south node, clinging, some of you. Um, Sagittarius, by the way, is your south node. Does not have to be. It's just a FYI. But uh, clinging to the comfort zone. And like I said, when we kind of live day in, day out in that pentacle energy, oh, you betcha. You betcha. It's really hard to get out of that comfort zone. Um, and there's something here that once upon a time when you last connected with it, it kind of did pull you out of your pentacle world, your routine, your rhythm, your comfort zone. And I know it's... You had that opportunity to invest in it more and make it kind of like a full-time comfort zone part of it, but it didn't happen. It got thinner and thinner. But now it's showing up so much more strongly. And that's beautiful because we're connecting with it for the right reasons. Like I said, you have two aces here that represent the new as well as the renewal. How you seeing it, experiencing it, approaching it is new, but it also represents um, connectivity of the past a little bit too. So I like that. Avoidance. It was a stalemate. For a while, though, there was a stalemate. Okay. We got in the comfort zone. We avoided. There's a stalemate uh, issue about what to do, how to give this, etc. I understand. Okay. Fear and anxiety. Some counsel and therapy. And here we have the release and the surrenders and purging. So some of you have done a job in terms of really getting in touch and understanding that self-love and being good to yourself or not dirty little words or dirty little concepts. Um, there's something that you should naturally gravitate towards other than just success of your 3D, you know. And some of you have a very hard time with that fear and anxiety. It's, it, it's like, a, what, do you, what do you mean wish fulfillment? What do you mean I, I think about me first and my emotional self and loving myself? What does that even mean, right? So it's kind of like if I'm not producing, the anxiety goes up, right? So if I kind of just double down, clamp down hard on the energies and be productive, that fear of anxiety and that, that sense of not being useful or something like that goes down. You know, it something about I have to justify every single hour of my day or something like that. And I can kind of get that in a way, especially if you are someone who heavily cultivates that 3D world as much as you do and you pride yourself in being resourceful and comfortable, it's always going to be a strong motivator. So anything that feels emotionally like this is what I want, it can feel selfish and then therefore we start rejecting it if we're not taught to love ourselves too. Uh, especially if you were connecting with somebody who wanted to provoke those feelings in you <laughs> at the individual level. That, that probably felt a little scary. Especially if you know you had to make space for it. Well, we're doing that now and now's what counts, okay? So good job on you if that's where you went, okay? I strongly advocate that 1,000%. Surrendering, releasing, we understand what the issue... This is beautiful. This is job well done, guys. Job well done. Gold star. Gold star. Actually, let's jump on over to the time frames. I don't think we need the additional Lenormand today. But I do want to do a time check here. Surrendering, releasing to the water. Did you notice that? Her dress is part waterfall. Releasing to those feelings. Okay. On a Wednesday, for some of you, very specific. Okay. <laughs> on a Wednesday, I was trying to focus on that communication because I can tell that you've already had the strong thought and we're still going to process that. That's a new Ace of Swords. Monday, Wednesday, within 10 years on a snowy day. Some of you have been withholding for 10 years of the self. That's how I'm actually saying that. Uh, some of you on a cold day, a snowy day, icy day, Monday or Wednesday, perhaps this last winter then, is an indication of when we had some of these insights. 
I'm still pushing though. I'm trying to get in on that eight of wands and I'm honestly at dawn. So for some of you, it is soon. We're talking, it's a matter of days or weeks, Wednesday, Monday, dawn, see what I'm saying? Where the communication finally takes shape. But I think some of you have been showing me a withhold factor of yourself for years, a decade. You know? And on a snowy day, cold day, icy day, however it is you want to call it, we had a strong thought. All right, Sag, honey, I hope this helps you. Put it in the comments. Take care. Be well.